Uh, good afternoon, Aziz. Good afternoon, Nouruddin. Um, I met you for the first time in Cameroon in 2008 when you came to University of Buea uh, at, the, at the conference organized by Miranda. And since then, I uh, have known you not only as a professor, but now as a human as that, that you are. You are successful. We, I can say you are successful. And we are here today to let you talk about how an African can be successful academically in the U.S. Uh, maybe we should start by uh, you telling us who you are, very basically. Well, I am Abdulaziz Yakubu. I was born in Ghana. Uh, I went to Accra Academy in Accra. That's my high school. I was mm -hmm. in a boarding school. Then from there, I went to the University of Ghana. Mm -hmm and obtain a bachelor's degree in mathematics and computer science. Are we talking in the, in the, in the 1870s? Or? Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, I came to the U.S. in, I believe, 83, mm -hmm. and then did graduate work. Uh, I started in Ohio, and then finished up at uh, North Carolina State University. Then after my PhD there, I started at Howard University as assistant professor and I went through the ranks. I have had excellent opportunities and I've visited lots and lots of uh, other universities as visiting professor in long term, short term, mm -hmm. and even I spent a semester in uh, Botswana at oh. Botswana International University of Science and Technology. Okay. Right, so I've had experience visiting lots and lots of universities, oh, wow. both yeah. in the US, Europe, Canada, as well as Africa. Yes, thank you for that introduction. Will you consider yourself a successful academic? Uh, well, in the sense that I was able to get tenure, went through the ranks, and a uh, professor, yes, I will say that in a humble way, <laughs> yes, I <laughs> consider myself, I've been relatively successful. I've not won Nobel <laughs> Prize not or yet. anything like that. <laughs> but uh, in uh, my faith, we say thanks to God. Thanks right, to God. right, right, okay. right, right. Okay. Uh, we are we are here. We have you here talking to the next generation, especially those coming from Africa and who are aspiring uh, to continue their graduate or even become professional in academics in the in the U.S. Instead of saying instead of saying that you've worked with so many people, top rank, uh, pro, uh, top 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 rank researchers in the field of mathematical biology and mathematics in, in in general, instead of asking you who have you worked with, I will ask who have you not. <laughs> collaborated with? Uh, well, it's a big list. There are <laughs> lots and lots of people I have not. But coming back to really uh, Africa, Africans, and what it takes to be successful. Yes. Um, you see, I did not do a bachelor's degree in the U.S., but I've met lots and lots of Africans who took that route. And the little thing I see uh, in, in, in their way for most of the people who came here to do the bachelor's degree is the financial burden. Mm. Bachelor's degree in the U.S. is very expensive, even for Americans. Mm -hmm. You've heard of lots of people taking loans yes. and so on. Yes. And if you come from Africa and you don't have the finances, it makes it d much more difficult because you may not have access to the loans mm -hmm. as others. So if you intend to come here to do the bachelor's degree, it will, I mean, to be very successful, you want to make sure that you solve the financial part. Mm -hmm. There are several ways one can do it. If you manage to get a scholarship, 
and those scholarships at the bachelor's degree are very difficult to get. You've got to do extremely well on some of those exams, and I'm saying here, I mean extremely well, mm -hmm. to be able, because you are competing with a large pool of people. So that is one. And then if you happen to be some of the lucky, very wealthy Africans who can afford it, then definitely That's good for you. It's, it's excellent for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if there are lots of distractions, as you know, coming from Africa and coming to, the, to America, there are lots and lots of distractions. But there are also lots and lots of opportunities some of the things that stand in our way in being successful in Africa you will not find here. For example, basic things like test book, mm -hmm. uh, resources, uh, I mean there are libraries everywhere, everywhere. right? Mm -hmm. The internet, you have access to every website, you have access to excellent professors, Yes, you, you know, so so there is no reason why yes. you should not do extremely well, but you got to devote yourself to your work and take your work seriously. And you know, yeah. you will be do successful. Your yeah. Do your do job your and you will be successful. Yes, and this was like uh, advising or giving the, 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 the recipe to come and do an undergraduate. Uh, why? Why, why can't an African not get a loan? Or not, not can't, but wha wha what makes it difficult for an African not to get a loan at undergraduate level in the US? Well, you know that the loans are administered by banks, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and in fact, even in some states, to be able even to get a bank account, Ooh. right? You gotta have some documentation, exactly. some will not even allow you to open a bank account unless you are a, 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 resident, a, a or resident or a citizen. Yes. So there are all of those. And normally, I mean, uh, think of it that way. If you want to loan somebody your <laughs> money, you want to make sure that the person can pay. Can pay. Yes. Now, if you are not a legal resident of the U.S., I mean, a permanent resident or, a, I mean, a citizen, now that restricts you so far as getting jobs are concerned. Mm -hmm. So if somebody gives you a loan and after you graduate you go back to your go country, mm -hmm. it makes it much more difficult. Yes. Right. But maybe one can look at their own country to see if they can get the loan from the country mm -hmm. because that will make it easier. But those are some of the, they are not necessarily government imposed restriction oh and some of the loans also are federally funded okay so if they are federal government loans you can citizens use, yes, yes. You, they are mostly <laughs> for citizens or okay. permanent residents okay so those are some of the reasons why okay right okay now we assume that the student has gone through the undergraduate level is now graduate student and is coming as a graduate student what is ahead of it? Or her? Right, yes. As a graduate student, and in fact, whether you get your degree from the U.S. or from anywhere, Africa, from anywhere else, there are a lot more financial opportunities for you in the sense that lots of graduate programs do have, sometimes, if you are in math, teaching assistantships. Mm -hmm. Teaching assistantships are in math are relatively easier to get mm -hmm. because most math departments require teaching assistants to help them with instruction. So the way it works is that you'll be given a stipend as well as also your tuition will be paid. Yeah. The stipend is not a huge amount of money, but it is enough yes. for you to live on it as a graduate student. Yes. And in fact, I went through all my education in the U.S. <laughs> on a teaching assistantship oh, wow. and a research assistantship. And okay. up till today, you will even find lots of 
American citizens on a teaching assistantship. Yes. So it's an easy and relatively less painful way okay. of okay. financing your education. Mm. That is the financial part, but talk, let's talk about the admission into the graduate program. Okay, yes. You gotta first make sure that you understand the admission process of the universities. In some universities will require you to have what is called the graduate record examination, GRE. GRE. Yes. And there are paths to it. Some will require you only to do the general and some mm -hmm. will require you to do a specialized, mm -hmm. right? So you got to study the department that you are interested in and know what the requirement is. Now, some my graduate programs do not even require the GRE, mm. but uh, some will require that you pay admission fee. Some may waive it for you. Okay. Right, and also it doesn't hurt you to look at the department and make sure that you have established contact with some faculty in that department. And how do you choose the faculty? You can choose the faculty based on your interest. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I want to go to a math department and do math biology, then I go to that math department, look at the faculty who are working in mathematical biology. Yes. And then contact them and let them know that I'm interested okay. in applying to their department. If by then, so whatever question I have, questions I have with regards to uh, the application process, I ask them. Now, usually what will happen is that that faculty will convey your message or introduce you to the director of graduate studies. Okay. Now, if you are not able to find any particular faculty whose interests overlap with you and you still want to go to that department, the director of graduate studies is the person to talk to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, even if they do not currently have somebody in your research area. The director of graduate study may be able to tell you if they are planning to hire oh, somebody wow. in, that, in that field, wow. right? Or there may be somebody in that field who is relatively new and for some reason you missed him or her in the faculty list. So those are all things that you can consider. Uh, in the application process still, Will you say African African graduates should also aim for the biggest top ranking institutions? In oh the yes, US? yes, definitely, definitely. What you want to do is look at the best programs, <coughs> but uh, because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, you look at the top rank, yes, middle rank. And I was saving top and middle rank, and you know you can go one or two in the yes. low rank. Yes. yes. So you gotta. Yes. Uh, there are all kinds of universities in, in in the U.S. Yes. So you go for the best program that you want to be in, and as well as some in the middle. Men. Right. Who right. Knows. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now maybe a question that uh, will embarrass you a little bit, because in the introduction you introduce yourself very humbly. But I'm going to ask the question and you will reveal to us actually who you are. What does it take a graduate student to be the next Professor Abdulaziz Yakubu? Oh, I hope he will be <laughs> better than Professor <laughs> Abdulaziz Yakubu. Well, what I should say is that certainly take your work seriously straight from the first graduate class you take. Take your work seriously. Um, and certainly don't go for the easy things mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, if you are in a math program for example aim that by the time you finish your PhD you have some excellent publications mm -hmm. and these days I will say also after you finish or before you finish you hopefully you will go and do an excellent postdoc Right. So if you have a very successful postdoc, and, uh, and successful postdoc depends on how well you did. Yes. Right? And in your, uh, in your, in your PhD, PhD thesis, mm -hmm. right? Then after the postdoc, and hopefully 
you will get an excellent environment that will help you develop even further. So, and also when taking a job, look for environments that will make you grow, okay. right? So, so once you do this, you know, the, <laughs> I have no doubt that you will be better than Abdulaziz Yaqub. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you, thank you for that. Uh, I have one more question, and after that, you may you may also address any point you think we've not we've not uh, mentioned here or we've not addressed here. Uh, uh, go for a job, keep working very hard, but what about the African context of? let me call it distraction from every social, from every uh, legal, from every, uh, I mean, what about the surrounding, those distractions that may, I mean, those factors that may distract from the goal of being the, the, the next best then, Professor Abdulaziz Yakubu? Uh, I wouldn't call them, well, certainly, even from Africa, it takes some commitment for you to do well yes. in anything that you do. So it's a matter of balancing act, right? So you take your work seriously, it doesn't mean you should forsake your other social uh, connections. Mm -hmm. Certainly, I mean, to be a healthy, per to be very good at what you do, you gotta be healthy both mentally, spiritually, and yes. so on, right? So, so we definitely don't, forsake your African uh, relations, yeah. but whatever it is you do in moderation, mm -hmm. right? So when I say take your work seriously, take your education seriously, this is what you've been doing even when you were in high school. Yes. So it's the same thing, it doesn't stop. Uh, so remember I said something about loss of distractions. Now, when we were in Africa, there are lots of things that uh, are not easy to get. Uh, but oh, here, yes. you know, <laughs> if you want to go nightlife, you can get <laughs> nightlife 24 hours a day. <laughs> you exactly, know, yes. yes, you can do everything. You can go overboard with yes. everything. So that's why I'm saying you should uh, pace yourself yeah. and be balanced in your life. That's all. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Professor uh, Abdulaziz Yakubu. What is that question you were expecting that I didn't ask? Uh, the question that, oh, I thought you were going to ask something about how do you give back to Africa. Oh, please, thank you. You say, after yes. you've gotten all of these yes. things, remember I told you I, I spent, I mean, if you remember, I met you in Africa. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so there are several ways of giving back. I've had colleagues who came here with me, graduate school from Ghana. Mm -hmm. I stayed, but the other colleague went back mm -hmm. and he had an excellent career. Yes. So you can decide. Uh, and uh, sometimes it may not be all up to you. It depends on where you find your oh, job, yeah. right? Yes. So my, my friend had a job in Africa, so he went back and I had a job here, so I stayed. So that is one way you can decide where you want to be. Yes. Thanks to the internet these days, the difference is not too big. Okay. If you are interested mm -hmm. in research, mm -hmm. there are lots of resources online, and these days it's also easy to travel back and forth, so it doesn't, I mean, uh, staying here or going back, the difference is not as big as it used, used to, to be, be. Right. right? And also, there are all kinds of funding opportunities that makes you uh, pair up mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. in Africa and have excellent collaboration. collaboration. I hope you will interview, if you've not done so, with Miranda. Oh, okay. I know she, she's <laughs> gotten something that uh, is allowing her to collaborate to with, with, uh, yeah. with uh, Boya, right? Boya, in University, of Boya, yes. University of Boya in Cameroon, right? So, so those are, or you can go on sabbatical leave and go back to some of the universities in Africa. Or you can bring African students just as you <laughs> came here. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so there are lots and lots of ways of contributing to both your new country yes. as well as the old one.
Oh, wow. Right, right, yeah. Will you say you, uh, will you say, okay, you, you say that you, you, you are humbly successful, but will you say there is next to, there is next to come for yourself? There oh, is, yeah, yes, 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 definitely, <laughs> definitely. Uh, if you know, we now have the next Einstein Forum, right? Oh, yes. I understand oh, yes. it to oh, be yes. that we want the next Einstein to come from Africa, yes, right? Exactly. You know, I'm not anywhere close to that. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully, yes, uh, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And I look forward to the next generation of excellent mathematicians coming from all over the world, in particular yes. coming from Africa. Oh, and yeah. there is nothing stopping us from doing that. But the key thing is that we've got to take our work seriously. seriously. Right. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. We, we end with that seriousness. So. Okay. <laughs> all right.